Hello everyone, I am Alif from AppScode. In this video, I will show you how to deploy MariaDB cluster in Kubernetes using KubeDB. So I have running a Kubernetes cluster in kind and let's check out the kind and Kubernetes version. So the kind version is here and kubectl uh, version is here. So I have installed the kubedb using Helm. Uh, so let's check out the kubedb version. Uh, this is the kubedb version. And I have also installed the start manager to create a issuer object that will be required to create a TLS secured MyADB cluster. So I will, now I'll show you the YAML file for deploying a MariaDB. Uh, the AP version of this custom resource is kubedb.com slash v1 alpha 2 and the kind is MariaDB. Uh, we want to name this MariaDB object sample MariaDB and uh, we want to deploy a MariaDB of version 10.4.17 uh, with three replicas, that means three nodes that will create a three nodes cluster. And we also want to configure other specs uh, that is given here. And we want the termination policy wipeout. That means uh, if, we, if we delete the MyADB object, it will also delete other PVC seekers and all other stuffs. And we have also other, uh, we have other termination policies that will be docu that is given in our KeepDB documentation. If you want to take a look, you can visit our website, KeepDB website. Uh, we also want this database TLS secured. So we need a issuer reference. Uh, we have mentioned the issuer reference here. Uh, so let's create the issuer first before creating the MariaDB object. For creating the issuer, at first we will need a secret containing CSR and CA key. Uh, we, I already have the CA key and CSR in this directory. So let's create the secret. And at first we want to create a namespace calling demo. Uh, we, will, we will create all our resources in this namespace. So let's create the namespace demo. And after that, let's create the secret containing CSR and CA key in the namespace demo. And now we will create the issuer. So let's take a, take a look in the issuer YAML uh, that's here. Uh, the issuer custom resource is provided by Cert Manager IO, API version V1 beta one. And we want to call this issuer MD issuer. And uh, in the spec section, we have provided the secret name MDCA as CA. So let's apply the issuer. Issuer.yaml. Oh, we have update uh, the issuer. issuer. Is now V1. So let's apply again. So we have created the issuer. Now we would like to deploy the MyADB object. So let's deploy the MyADB object. So I want to watch the MyADB object. So you can see uh, if we watch MyADB custom resource, I can uh, see that the version is 10.4.17 and the status is provisioning. That means the database is in provisioning state and here you can see uh, three ports are creating. So when the database is ready status, we can say the cluster is up and running. So let's wait for a minute or two to come this database status ready.
Well, all three ports are running state. That means uh, the MariaDB image is pulled successfully. Now the nodes are communicating with each other and creating creating a cluster. If we want to check the logs and check it from here. Well, the first node is ready for taking connections. Uh, yes, we can exit into the first node and check out if I check the cluster size as the first node is ready. Sample MariaDB zero. So, Uh, as we can see the status is ready that means uh, the MariaDB cluster is ready to run and let's connect to the server so this is the server and i want to uh, i would like to show you the cluster size so shows Well, you can see the cluster size is three as we expected. Uh, that means uh, it has three replicas, uh, sample MariaDB 0, 1, and 2. And if we write something in this node, we can get the changes in other nodes. Uh, so let's create a table and let's see what happens. So I already have some commands that will create a table and database and a table so this is our table uh, that's created in company database and let's uh, connect to another node and see if the changes are also there so i am exiting from the first node and signing into the second node so let's connect to the server for the second node and show the company database table. So we also have this employee table in the first node. So we can say that the cluster is running perfectly. Uh, uh, in this way, we have deployed a MariaDB cluster in Kubernetes using KubeDB.